The Su-34 is a Russian twin-engine all-weather medium-range fighter, bomber, and strike aircraft. Known as Fullback in the West, this aircraft was designed to conduct deep strike, battle feed interdiction, and close air support. The jet can perform missions without accompanying fighter jets as it can defend itself with its air-to-air -air arsenal and electronic warfare capabilities. While the F-15E Strike Eagle is also a fighter and attack aircraft designed to perform air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, it can fight its way to a target over long distances, destroy enemy ground positions, and fight its way out. An array of avionics and electronic systems give the F-15E the capability to fight at low altitude, day or night, and in all weather conditions. Equipped with state-of-the-art aviation technology, both aircraft are considered the most dangerous strike fighters. We thought it'd be interesting to compare these war machines and try to determine which aircraft is better. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. The Su-34 is based on the Su-27 family. Comparatively, the Su-34 has an entirely new nose and forward fuselage, which earned it the nickname Duckling. The aircraft features an armored cockpit for side-by-side -side seating. Su-34 is primarily designed for tactical deployment against ground and naval targets. In the mid-1980s, Sukhoi began developing Su-34 to replace the swing-wing Su-24 attack aircraft. However, due to budget constraints, the Su-34 made its first flight in 1994. Around 136 units of Su-34s have been built so far. On the other hand, the F-15E Strike Eagle is a multi-role strike fighter developed from F-15 Eagle. F-15 Eagle has long been hailed as the most successful fighter jet in the history of combat aviation. F-15 boasts an undefeated air-to-air -air combat record of over 100 aerial victories. The F-15E was designed in the 1980s for long-range, high-speed strike missions without relying on fighter or electronic warfare aircraft. The Strike Eagle is generally distinguished from F-15 Eagle variants by darker camouflage, conformal fuel tanks, and a twin-seat cockpit. Around 513 F-15Es have been built so far since its introduction in 1989. The F-15E is operated by a pilot assisted by weapon systems officer. Number 2. The Su-34 is powered by a pair of turbofan engines producing 60,000 pounds of thrust combined. These engines can push the aircraft to maximum speed of Mach 1.8 with ferry range of 2,800 miles. The jet can perform combat operations within a radius of 684 miles. The service ceiling of the aircraft is around 56,000 feet. The Su-34 is outfitted with 12 hardpoints and can take off with weapons payload of 13 tons. Similarly, the Strike Eagle is powered by two turbofan engines capable of producing 58,000 pounds of thrust combined. With the help of these engines, the aircraft can gain maximum speed of Mach 2.5 with ferry range of 2,400 miles. F-15E can combat within the radius of 791 miles. The service ceiling of the aircraft is 60,000 feet. The fighter jet comes with 11 hardpoints and can carry 11.5 tons of weapon payload. Number 3. The Su-34's cockpit is noticeable due to its front design featuring a pronounced nose-down appearance. The aircraft shares most of its wing structure, tail, and engine with the Su-27 family. The jet is outfitted with canards for higher maneuverability. The aircraft has a large cockpit to accommodate two side-by-side -side seats. Such seating configuration eliminates the need of redundant avionics. The crew can enter into the cockpit through a ladder attached to the landing gear. The cockpit is made with 17mm armored sheets. In comparison, F-15E Strike Eagle is based on F-15 Air Superiority fighter jet. The basic airframe of F-15 proved versatile enough to produce a very capable strike fighter. Despite its origins, these significant structural changes were made to produce a capable strike fighter with the ability to carry more payloads. For extended range, the F-15E is fitted with two conformal fuel tanks. The back seat is fully equipped with weapons and flying systems. Number 4. 
The SU-34 is equipped with passive electronically scanned array radar. The newly upgraded radar can simultaneously track up to 10 targets and attack four of them simultaneously. The jet is also mounted with rear radar and can even fire R-73 missiles against enemy jets on its tail. The Su-34 is the first Russian aircraft equipped with Western equipment in shape of Thales Electro-Optical Targeting and Reconnaissance System. The pod has a long-range laser designator, navigation forward-looking infrared sensor, and high-resolution imager. With the help of this pod, the Su-34 can fire laser-guided and satellite-guided weapons with pinpoint accuracy. The Su-34 is well-equipped with modern displays, latest avionics, and digital processing systems. On the other hand, the F-15E is upgraded with the APG-82 radar. The radar has far greater range and performance as compared to the legacy radars outfitted on F-15C. The F-15E has multi-session avionics, including head-up display, helmet-mounted queuing system, Link 16 and Tactical Navigation System, the aircraft is mounted with Identification of Friend or Foe System. The aircraft Sniper XR Targeting Pod provides target identification, autonomous tracking, GPS coordinate generation, and precise weapons guidance from extended standoff ranges. The aircraft's countermeasures feature integrated electronic warfare suite. Number 5. The Su-34 can carry 13 tons of payload on its 12 weapon stations. For shorter range, Su-34 is armed with R-73 missile, which can engage its target with range up to 25 miles. For beyond visual range engagements, Su-34 is armed with R-77 missile, capable of engaging the target at range of 120 miles. Being a strike fighter, Su-34 is armed with wide array of precision guided and unguided bombs, the Russian jet is also outfitted with a 30mm autocannon with 180 rounds of ammunition. On the contrary, the Strike Eagle can carry weapon payload of 11.5 tons on its 11 hardpoints. For shorter range engagements, the aircraft is armed with AIM-9, AIM-7, and radar-guided medium-range air-to-air missiles. The aircraft is capable of shooting AIM-9X high-off boresight missiles. The AIM-9X can lock onto a target that's in its 90-degree field of view. For BVR engagements, Strike Eagle is armed with AIM-120, with a range in excess of 100 miles. The F-15E can carry glide bombs, joint direct attack munitions, small diameter bombs, and joint air-to-surface standoff missile. The aircraft is also armed with an internal 20mm Gatling gun capable of firing 4 to 6,000 shots a minute. In terms of performance, Su-34 is slower than the F-15E but the Russian aircraft has the higher ferry range. The Strike Eagle has better combat radius, but Su-34 can carry more weapons payload. The role of a striker is to attack into enemy territory instead of engaging other fighter jets. However, both aircraft are highly capable to defend themselves in case they're challenged. Both aircraft can carry wide array of missiles ranging from high off boresight to long range missiles. For BVR engagements, it depends on the radar capabilities and the pilot's skills to detect its opponent first. As far as attack capabilities are concerned, the Strike Eagle is considered more lethal due to its superior avionics and precision-guided air-to-surface weaponry. So what's your opinion? Which attack aircraft is better, the Russian Su-34 fullback or the United States F-15E Strike Eagle? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.